You know, I've been teaching for 30 plus years, and in that period of time, I've seen a lot of changes in education. But the thing that I'm most excited about for my students is using the core standards. The literacy piece for me has been huge with teachers across all content areas really understanding that their math class is a reading class, their science class is a reading class, their social studies class is a reading class, and you have teachers of all different content areas really feeling that now. They're really feeling that they need to be doing um, their part with reading and with helping kids with reading. It has been phenomenal to see the non-language arts teachers want to support the language arts teachers because of Common Core. I like that the Common Core allows content teachers to feel confident in doing what they already do and just knowing that they're meeting that standard and that you don't have to be an English teacher or a writing teacher in order to meet those you know, requirements. Literacy here at Southern is across the board because we know that it doesn't matter if it's social studies, biology, math, you've got to be able to read, you've got to be able to write. And then if we're really true about high school plus and career readiness and college readiness, then we've got to be able to help them have those soft skills and reading and writing are part of all of those things. The college and career readiness standards encourage a balance between reading literature, um, stories, and reading informational text or nonfiction. So I think one way to look at the balance between literature and informational text is not that they're taught in isolation, but they're, they're taught in partnership with each other. Um, one is to allow students to look at someone's creative interpretation of our world, and another is to help students build knowledge and factual information about our world. And I have not had one child or one parent claim that the enjoyment or the thrill and love of literature is missing. I feel it's important that you continue to expose children to those things. And there's nothing wrong with higher expectations. Children do rise to the occasion. I think often as adults, we worry falsely about things and changes. However, kids are individuals and they are fully capable of raising the bar and writing and reading at higher levels. There are some myths floating around out there about literature disappearing because of Common Core, and that's absolutely not true. We have literary standards for reading that focus on literature. Um, the, the big thing about the nonfiction piece was just to make sure that we have a balance so that we don't have, uh, we're not tipping the scale at everything is literature or everything is informational, so that we have a nice balance for our students, especially in the elementary grades. Mm -hmm. But literature has not gone away. In fact, when you get to middle and um, you know, high school, that's what our English language arts teachers focus on. And their other focus is on literary nonfiction, which are the biographies and the speeches. But the technical text and the true authentic informational text is going to come from those other content areas. So literature is still very much a focus of our English language arts classrooms.